James Central Station here with my latest pickups. Went to the thrift store today, right up the street from me, and got a couple of good finds, I think. A bunch of sealed VHS and a couple other things I'll show you real quick. So, first one, as you saw, Blair Witch Project, sealed. Has a little uh, universal stamp on the bottom. Uh, these, All these VHS were 25 cents, and so I looked them up to see how much I could sell them for. This I can get nine bucks for. Uh, then the Andy Griffith Show, classic. Uh, this one is partially sealed. There's like a hole right there. But uh, this one surprisingly sells for 10. So I thought that was a good deal too. Uh, Man in the Iron Mask, got this again for 25 cents and uh, sells for $5. So that's a good one. And then the rest of these are not sealed, but uh, Chevy Chase Funny Farm. This guy goes for five bucks. And then classic, Crocodile Dundee. Uh, this one goes for three dollars. So I might keep this one. Um, then the Blu-ray of Stone Cold Steve Austin. All his best, uh, I guess, matches. This I thought would go for a lot more, but it, it goes for uh, 14 and I got this, I think, for six bucks. So not bad thinking about keeping it i don't know we'll see uh and then the ones i'm gonna keep tom hanks his uh three hilarious movies set i didn't look this up to see what it goes for uh because i'm gonna keep it and then uh family guy i'm not much of a family guy guy anymore but uh the first couple of seasons that i thought were funny um so this one i'm gonna keep because it's star wars reference and then this one I thought was neat. It's uh, the best fights of Dragon Ball Z. So I got this for a dollar. Figured uh, it would be good to watch. And then I haven't listened to this yet. I got it for three bucks. It's the Lord of the Rings, the trilogy. But it says, uh, what did it say? It was something by another group, oh, performed by Mask. Like the Jim Carrey Mask? Like, that would be hilarious if that's what this is, but probably not. Anywho, hold on. Wait, forgot to add this when I was uh, talking to you in the last little video clip. Uh, this is a thing that was worth about $40. Um, it's a CD spinning rack. It's uh, dirty as all get out right now, um, so I'm going to clean that up. But this adds a lot more to the overall value I'm about to tell you about. Here's my proof, uh, 25 or twenty dollars and twenty-five cents for all that stuff, and uh, total it out for what I'm going to sell. Uh, total will be ninety-one bucks. Now, that's not profit because we got to ship it. And eBay is going to take their mess uh, out of that, but you know, for twenty bucks, it's not a bad deal. It pays for all my stuff that I bought today if I sell the things I want to sell. Wait a minute, again, guys. I totally forgot to show you some other stuff I picked up recently. Um, same thrift store. Picked up this uh, Blink-182 CD. Didn't realize it was a parental advisory. I try not to listen to stuff cussing in it. But uh, inside of it was Tool, which, you know, I'm not a huge Tool fan, but I know a lot of people are. And then this band called Ghost. I had actually never heard of them, but this is an awesome soundtrack. And... Uh, this thing goes, you know, if I had the case and the manual and everything, this thing goes for quite a bit of money. I want to say it's like 30 bucks. You know, I could probably just sell this for, I don't know, 20. So I thought that was kind of cool. And then uh, Gorillas. I always like this band. Uh, and this is a pretty neat set here. Has two discs, manual, everything in it. This doesn't really go for a whole lot, but I got it because I want to listen to it. Uh, so one of the biggies I paid up for a little bit is uh, Dino Crisis. So this thing was uh, 30 bucks, but this goes for uh, about 60, uh, 60 online. And it has, you know, obviously has the manual and has the disc, the game disc. Uh, this part is a little messed up, little moving mechanism, I guess. It kind of came apart, but it also has the Resident Evil 3 Nemesis demo disc in it. Uh, so this, yeah, value-wise is about 60 bucks. So I'm considering selling this. 
even though I like collecting the PlayStation 1. So, dilemma, dilemma. Uh, let's see, Tomb Raider Chronicles. Got this for $6, and I think this goes for, I don't really know. I, I looked up a little while ago. I think it goes for 10 or 15 something like that. Here's the big boy. This is this is the uh, the most amazing game ever. Yes, the Flintstones Bedrock Bowling. Amazing game. Actually, I've never played it, but it just looks really cool. Uh, you know, I, I really dig the old school graphics on it. It's just uh, just nostalgic laden. Um, and so the next thing here is they had a uh, an NES. So it's a little. It's a little yellow. I don't know if you can tell from the camera. It's a little dirty. Uh, where's it at? Yeah, right there. Um, but I haven't plugged this in and tested it, but I got it for 20 bucks. No cords or anything like that. Um, when I put a game in it, it seemed like it grabbed it okay. It wasn't like super tight, but it it wasn't like amazingly loose either. either. It was like right in the center. So... I'm excited about this. I think these sell, you know, I got cords and stuff. These sell for about 80 bucks. So, you know, I can make a little profit off of it. So hopefully this is a last cut in, um, but who knows, maybe not. And I'll have some profit left over. So anyway, thanks for watching and have fun out there.